Hey, what's up everybody? Jesse here with Southern Reels out on the water doing some fishing like normal. And I got a little story I want to tell you. I mean, you've seen me fish out of my kayak many a times. And I love it because you can get right up on that piling and fish that piling very effectively. And then I bought this really nice boat here that I'm out in today. And I kind of wanted to do some of that same fishing. And it's tricky, to be honest with you. The trolling motor that I have with the new Spotlight technology is pretty good. It really is. But if you get under these bridges, you lose a couple satellites on the lock and it can drift. And it has done some crazy stuff a couple times, you know, ramming me into pylons and all. So when I'm out here fishing with it, the frustrating thing would be is I would have my fishing pole that I usually like using, you know, with my jig on it. And it's like I can either get just out of reach of that pylon. It seemed to be how it always worked. I would be just out of reach of it. Or the trolling motor is trying to ram me into the pylon. It never was a sweep just in between. It's very rare. And it always works better if I manually controlled it to be able to do that. And I was just frustrated because that's what was happening. I just could not get in that sweet spot to catch these fish. And I thought about it. I said, man, I sure would love to have a longer fishing rod. And I checked around and the longest one that I could find was eight feet, which I do have one and it is better, but still it's only six more inches. I was like, man, what the heck? There was nothing available on the market that I could find like I wanted. So what I did is I had a new friend at the time, Dan, at Fish DC Sticks. He's a custom rod builder here in the Chesapeake, Virginia Beach area. Hampton, I think Hampton actually where he lives. And we were talking quite a bit at the time and he wanted to build me a rod. I was like, sure. So I told him my idea and he kind of laughed because it was untraditional, but he built this rod for me right here. If you can see, it is a giant long jigging rod that is mated for a bait caster because I love using these bait casters because they have a flipping switch and all and it's perfect for catching sheep's head. So this is built on a surf blank that he got for me. It's a Pacific Bay 11 foot moderate fast action rated for 20 to 40 pound line heavy power. It's right where it needs to be as far as the weight of the line and it has the power that you need to be able to toss these fish up. And he did an excellent job. I had him do the little small eyelets on it all the way down. It's a beautiful fishing rod. He really did a good job. But the downside is I haven't really used it much because when I'm out in my boat, I always have people with me. And if I were to use this rod and keep the boat a safe distance from the pylon, which is the whole point of this, then nobody else in the boat can fish the pylons because I'm so far away. So I haven't really got to use it. So long story short, I'm out today by myself. I brought the rod with me and I'm going to try it to finally use it for what I intended it to be used for two years ago when I come up with the idea. And we're just gonna see how well it works. Sorry, I know that was a really long intro, but I just wanted to tell you the story. So let's see what it can do. So I've got this guy here. What I'm gonna do is just work down these outside pylons for now. Because the current's rolling pretty good. I think a 65 today on the coefficient, which ain't bad, but you know, it's full on current right now. So around the islands and all out here, it's pretty gnarly, but if you hit mid span of these bridges to where it's shallower you know 25 30 feet the current's nowhere near as bad and you can actually fish all right y'all i eased right up to this piling you know it's kind of drifting over and i locked the motor a little bit away from it and then worked my way to it and now i can get this right there behind that piling and drop it down using my normal method you know dropping it a few feet at a time five feet is just the number i use Oh, look, I already got a bite. Look at that. Holy crap, I did not expect that. Huh. Wow, that went way quicker than I imagined. And I'm not cheating, y'all. I'm not using the lab scope. As you see, it's not even out. This is literally the first pylon I pulled up to. That's awesome, you guys. I have not fished this piling at all today. Once again, no live scope. It's not even out deployed. I know a lot of people hit me for that. Oh, it's only because you use a live scope. No, I caught these fish long before that came around. That's a nice, Jesus. 22 and a half. Thank you, sir. Well, dang, folks. As you see, that worked very well. I was worried about the amount of leverage the big sheep's head would have with this pole, you know, because it's a longer pole, it gives the fish a lot of leverage, but actually it wasn't bad at all. The pole handled it no problem. I wonder if there's more down there. <laughs> so maybe staying farther away from the pylons actually helping. 
keep from spooking them. You know, this would be ideal if you had several of these on a boat. That way everybody could use it and you could come out here and stay away from these pilings and catch these fish much more effectively. Because that's one of the biggest things about doing this out of a boat that I was always frustrated about is I was pretty certain that it spooks the fish, the presence of the boat. Because having a live scope, I've literally come up in a kayak and watched the entire cluster of fish move down five feet, 10 feet sometimes because of just the presence of the yak. Imagine what they're doing when a boat comes up. They're probably just leaving the island all together. All right, y'all. You can see I'm kind of approaching this island from a distance. I'm gonna go ahead and lock the motor in place, like so. And I can use the motor in the rear as a rudder. Put the rear of the boat kind of where I want it, a little bit closer. All right, so I've come up to this island and I haven't really disturbed it stayed a decent distance from it and I'm able to reach right into that sweet spot with this rod drop it down oh, is that a hit that was a hit there we go see we're like champ Oh, he's not happy at all. All right, here we go. Yeah, that works good. Hmm. Got that one on the bottom sweeper. Nice size fish. Look, yeah. And I'll keep you today, man. All right, folks, there you go. I finally got a chance to use the rod that I thought of almost two years ago and had built. Like I said, I never used it because if I did in my boat, nobody else would be able to reach the pilot. <laughs> so it was kind of nice coming out by myself, give me a chance to use it and it actually worked really well. Um, I caught those two right away and I tried for a little bit longer, but the wind's kind of picking up and I can see a storm in the distance headed this way. So I think I'm going to make a run and avoid it. So once again, thanks for watching and peace out. I'll see you in the next video.